Daumen. Ein großer, großer Applaus für den Christos Sotiros! Welcome. Hello, welcome. Hi, how are you? Welcome. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Judges, are you ready? Comfortable? Can I have my music, please? Time. So, the third place. Have you ever heard of this phrase? while home is our first place, offering safety and privacy, and work is our second place, offering a social structure experience. Third places are more relaxed, public environments where people can meet and interact in a range of different ways. It reminds you of something, it's our coffee shops. Drinking specialty coffee in a third place can potentially be a truly engaging multisensory experience, one which includes a cup of coffee, along with a five human senses activation in an atmospheric environment. Today, we will focus on the two key elements that can make a coffee shop being a greater place for our guests and our customers. First, the high quality specialty coffee. And second, a new, truly engaging multi-sensory experience. Before we see how we can do that, let me start with a small preparation for my signature beverage by pulling out two shots with a recipe of 20 grams in, 45 grams out so they can then cool down. So starting with the first key element, the specialty coffee that I chose for today is a pink bourbon variety from Colombia, from farm Granja La Esperanza. The trees were cultivated at an altitude of 1,800 meters above the sea level in Valle del Cauca in Colombia. The coffee is processed as natural and aerobic, where cherries are mechanically dried for 48 hours and then moved to solar drying patios for nine additional days. Then the cherries are carefully selected, picked, and placed in a special tank, closed but not sealed to let the air flow. Fermentation lasts for 48 hours, and thanks to high concentration of sugars, it will result to the cup to have more intense fruity and sweet notes. The coffee was roasted 12 days ago in a Stronghold S7 Pro, which applies convection and radiation heat. The efficiency of convection is combined with delicacy and penetrability of radiation to achieve the triple heat system. The roaster is using a halogen lamp that truly reveals interesting cup characteristics, increasing the sweetness and giving a cleaner aftertaste, positively different compared to any other gas drum roasters. So let's start with today's courses and espresso. Inspired by the Sensory and Cupping Handbook of Specialty Coffee Association and scientific research on how senses interact each other from a psychological and neurological perspective, I wanted to explore more on how can I drive a flavor experience by using cross-modal perception. In the cards in front of you, you can find more information about cross-modal perception while immersing to this experience today with me. For the espresso, I'm using 20 grams in to extract 38 grams out. 
a recipe to showcase this fruity and complex character of pink bourbon. Judges, please write down the cup profile for my espresso. And when I serve you the cups, please evaluate only the crema and wait for my drinking instructions. In taste balance, you will find medium to low bitterness, medium to high acidity, and high sweetness. In tactile, the body is medium weight with a juicy texture and a long lingering finish. Aftertaste, correction. In flavors, you will find pineapple, pink grapefruit, white grapes, and notes of cinnamon. It is a very delicate and clean cup, trust me. Please evaluate only the crema. For you. Please judges, wait for my instruction. Enjoy. I want you to do something new today to activate your senses and elevate the flavor experience. So I kindly ask you to leave your notes underneath the boxes and open your boxes from your left side. Pick up the black vessel, Open it, close your eyes, and smell the dry aroma of this pink bourbon. This will activate your olfactory senses to better perceive the cup profile of, the, of uh, my coffee. Then, before drinking the coffee, please focus on the pink color of the cup or, and the fabric in front of you. This nice, sweet color will increase your perception of sweetness in taste as well. And lastly, while evaluating and drinking the coffee, please touch the silky fabric in front of you from top to bottom to highlight the tactile experience of this great coffee and enjoy. That is, if you're ready now, let's move to the milk beverage. I'm using 20 grams in to extract 42 grams out. A slightly different ratio to help the coffee intensity come through the milk. The milk is 3.9% fresh, full fat cow's milk, which in combination with my coffee will give you a flavor profile of melted mocha ice cream. Butterscotch caramel. with a very pleasant tiramisu finish. The body is creamy, and the texture is extremely silky. Judges, while I'm making your milk beverages, let me elaborate more on the second key element, related to the senses. And please, again, when I serve you the cups, evaluate only the visual and wait for my instructions. Different senses interacting each other can create 
and drive a tasting experience. Shapes related to the sense of sight can create expectations and drive this experience. So for that reason, we tested several cups, inspired also by the various research of Mrs. Carvalho. And so the cups I'm using today are white and round with a thick cream, creating a smooth and sweet expectation before even tasting the coffee. Working with such complex, high-quality specialty coffees that can trigger all of our senses, it is very important that we activate them all so we can experience flavor at the maximum. Touch is one of those senses, and it is very critical as it can affect psychology and mood. So for that reason, I will kindly ask you to go back to the boxes and grab a few of these pink sponges. Please grab a few. Hold them and squeeze them to your hand for a few seconds and then playing around while drinking and evaluating my milk beverage. Their smooth, velvety filling will help you relax, influence your perception to highlight the creamy body and the silky texture of my milk beverage. Have fun and enjoy. And judges, whenever you're ready, please close the boxes and flip your cards around so we can move to the signature beverage. We have seen how important and interconnected the five human senses are on a tasting experience, but there is more. The surrounding environment where tasting a beverage can create an atmospheric experience, and this is where magic happens and we can feel being in our third place. This is how I felt when I tasted this amazing coffee on its natural environment on my recent trip to Colombia. The atmospheric experience of nature and farm left no room for negative flavors in my cup, making my experience a unique third place. This is my inspiration and my goal for today, to share this experience with you and connect you with the natural environment of this great coffee. So for that reason, all of my ingredients and the tasting experience are starting from the farm. With my first ingredient, this infusion, 10 grams of coffee cascara, mixed with 10 grams of dried coffee leaves, steeped in 500 grams of cold water for 24 hours. Cascara will add natural sweetness to my beverage, while dried coffee leaves will balance the whiny notes of cascara. I'm using 15 ml. My second ingredient, this mucilage. We took this ingredient directly from the farm. The water used to remove the mucilage during the natural fermentation of a wash process is then exposed to a gentle heat to reduce its moisture, and of course, it has been pasteurized in the lab to become a food safe. What we have here is 60% of sugars, and this ingredient will enhance my coffee flavor, as sugar is one of the four flavor carriers, and I'm using 20 ml. My third ingredient, fermented pineapple. Similar to my coffee process, I did a lactic fermentation on fresh pineapple by using 20% of salt for seven days. And then I brought the bricks up to 50% with the use of a simple sugar. I'm adding 25 ml, and this ingredient will highlight even more the tropical characteristics of my coffee and transform the flavor complexity. And as you can see, today I'm using a siphon, but in a totally different way. By adding 15 grams of dry ice, and then blocking the air into the brewing chamber, I managed to build up pressure and create gases. These gases will mix and enhance all of the ingredients together, changing their texture to sparkling. When dry ice interacts with the liquid, it converts from solid directly to gas, in this case CO2, without first being liquefied. This phenomenon is also known as the witch's brew. And now that this ingredient is ready, 
I will add everything to my mixing glass, along with 100 grams of ice, to homogenize, but also to control the end temperature. As temperature plays an essential role on flavor perception, and I want you to specifically taste today flavors of mango, passion fruit, blood orange, and cacao nib finish. The body is juicy, the texture is sparkling, and the aftertaste refreshing. Reminds you of an elegant champagne. Judges, please now open your boxes from the right side to visit the farm. And when I call my time, evaluate my signature beverage to fully enjoy and appreciate this great coffee on its natural environment, being in the clouds of Colombia and the farm. Thank you and time. Applause, applause for Christos Sotiros. Christos, please come here so that you're not anymore touching anything and judges can do their job. Great, great, great performance. Thanks a lot for sharing welcome. that multi-sensory experience. experience. Tell us more. What's multi-sensory experience? It's uh, really activating all the senses. Sometimes we taste a coffee, and if we are in a good mood, we think that the coffee is great. Or if we are in our favorite coffee shop in a nice environment, there's usually nothing to ruin this moment, so we enjoy the beverages more. So I try to bring that on stage and uh, really activate all the senses of the judges and make them feel uh, comfortable, nice, being in the third place, relax, enjoy, and also to visit the farm, when, uh, like I did uh, in um, uh, June uh, this year. And honestly, I never tasted the coffee that tasted bad, and I think it was because I was in the real environment of a coffee farm. Yeah, that's probably always tricky to transform, I guess, up on stage because it's a pressure moment. Judges are very focused and then to relax them is not easy, right? Yes, correct, correct. So I just want them to experience something different. Good. I think that definitely was the case. Um, it, the obvious question, but who want to use say thank you to here in the audience and who supported you? Well, many people in person, but uh, I would like on stage to thank um, uh, my team from Nestle Professional that they always uh, be very supportive with me and uh, giving me the chance to compete in Barista Championships, which I love. My coach Stefanos and my best friend uh, George and the whole team of creating from uh, Create for coaching. Uh, we've been working almost two years together working on this project and um, I couldn't ask for a better uh, coach and a team. And uh, I really, really like to um, honestly and thank uh, Ennio and the Académie du Café, not only for uh, giving me the freedom to train on, on their academy for the competition, but because uh, two years ago when I came to Switzerland, he was very welcome and trying to connect me with the community. Sorry, I have to say hello. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Paracalo. So, and as well, I see a lot of construction was going on. How long, how long did it take for you to set up and create? Eight months, I think. We've eight been months. Eight months on that project. Yeah. And we're changing things and we try to bring the experience on stage. Yeah. That was awesome. So, Whoever is curious to try his espresso, please go to the SCA bar. Wer immer jetzt gespannt ist und möchte wissen, wie ein Christus sein Espresso schmeckt, er teilt dann jetzt mit euch dort an der ähm, SCA bar. Geht dann hin und probiert sein Espresso. Und one big round of applause for Christus! Applaus